Hello art students! In this video I'm going to show you how to create a virtual art gallery using Google Slides. First, give your slideshow a title. You're only going to need to make one slide, but you could make more if you want multiple rooms. I'm going to start a new one for you. Begin by choosing a background. Click on background, then choose image, and you're going to type in the Google image search wall and floor background. You will see multiple examples to choose from. Choose the one that you want for the background of your art gallery. If you plan on placing a lot of artwork on the wall of your art gallery, make sure you have plenty of wall space by choosing a room with a low horizon line. Click insert to insert your background and then you are ready to move on to adding furniture and frames to your art gallery. Click insert image and go to search the web. You will see an area pop up on the right side that you can search in, and I have typed in frame transparent because what I'm looking for are some picture frames that have a transparent background that I can place on the wall and then later put my own images of my artwork into the frames. When you insert an item, you can also change its size and you can change its color. To change the color, click on Format Options, and then on the right, under Recolor, you're going to click on the color that you would like to change it to. Next, I'm going to add a sofa to the floor of my art gallery. So again, I'll go to Insert and choose Photo from Web, and then I will type in Sofa Transparent. I'll choose the sofa that I want, and I'll click Insert to insert it into my art gallery. And then again, I can change the color if I wish to. I can also change the size. I could flip it horizontally so that I change the direction that my sofa is facing. And I could move it anywhere I want in the space of my art gallery. Next, I'm going to show you how to add in a pedestal, which would be great to put a three-dimensional sculpture on. Again, I'm going to go to insert, search the web, and I'm going to search for pedestal transparent background. You might notice that even though it says transparent background, some of these pedestals do not actually have a transparent background. And this is what happens and what it looks like if you include an object without a transparent background. There are ways to remove the background from images, and I will show you that later. But for now, I'm just going to search the web and find a different pedestal. You can see there are plenty to choose from, and I find another here. Click Insert, and then resize it to fit. In total, I'd like you to include, at minimum, five works of art in your art gallery, though you could include more than that as well. And if you'd like, you could have additional rooms by making additional slides. Each of your picture frames could be different if you'd like, or one shortcut is to copy and paste from the first frame that you inserted. You can also change the dimensions on your frame and make it portrait or landscape style to fit whatever image you plan on putting into your frame. Now, speaking of putting images into your frame, you will need to copy and then paste from your original artwork completed during the school year and insert it into your frames. Then drag the frame to fit your artwork. Watch as I paste in another work of art. So I'm going to need to make this picture smaller. To do so, I drag it inward from the corner of the image only. Watch again, from the corner only, I drag it in so that the proportions of my original photograph of this banana do not change. I then will move the frame from the frame around the banana to make it fit the banana image. Next, I'm going to show you a really cool and free website for removing the background of your images, and this could be great for sculptures. The website is remove.bg. Once in the website, you will either upload or paste a copy of your image, and then it will bring it up and will have removed the background for you. Now, sometimes you have to edit it a bit, so click Edit, and then you'll have the option to erase or restore. You can change the brush size to make this go as fast as necessary.
So in this case, I'm going to erase the hand and just clean it up a little bit so that then my final image is only of this sculpture. From here, I'll download the picture, and then in Google Slides, I can insert the photo from the file on my computer. In this case, the sculpture fits perfectly on my pedestal, and I can resize it as needed. The remove.bg website is also a great tool for personalizing your art gallery. So if you want to include something like an image of your pet on the floor of your art gallery, you could actually do that using this website. Now, in your art gallery, you're going to need some kind of sign that welcomes people to your personal gallery and includes your name and the year. So I'm going to search for an easel with a transparent background, and I'm actually choosing this one here that looks like a chalkboard. Then I can insert text and type in my name and the year. Next, to personalize my art gallery even more, I'm going to add a bitmoji of myself sitting on the couch. It's very easy to do this, but you do need to first download the Bitmoji Chrome extension. So search for that first, and then once you access that and log in and find the Bitmoji you want, you just copy and then paste it into your slide. Spend some time playing with the color of your objects. You can also add some decorations, maybe some plants or some flowers. Also play with the font of your text. And just remember that you are an artist creating an art gallery to show your art. So you want it to be visually appealing. One more thing you might want to consider adding is some form of speech bubble or thought bubble. You can see that I did this here in my original example. To do this, you just go up to insert and then down to shape and you will see that there are call outs and you can pick any style that you want and add that into your picture. Then you'll just go up to add text and then you'll be able to write whatever you want your Bitmoji to be saying. So let's now review what you must include in your virtual art gallery. You must include a background that has a wall and a floor. You must include at least five works of art made by you during the school year. And those five works of art should have also been submitted to your teacher. You must include some kind of sign that includes your name and the year on it. And you should try to include some kind of decoration or personal details. These could include furniture, bitmojis, or anything that you come up with. I hope you have a really great time creating your virtual art gallery. And just so that you know, we're going to be combining the slides from multiple students and sharing this publicly. So make yours pop.